So this is from Jason Campbell. He tweets out, Candace Owens says, COVID-19 is nothing but a big cover for communist rule hitting the shores of the West. I mean, folks, conservatives are... <laughs> I'm trying to be really polite here and not just be overly insulting, but they're they're getting dumber. Uh, and... Even if somebody who was a conservative started out not too bad, they've shifted to the right. They've gotten a lot more bombastic with the rhetoric that they use. Uh, they've gotten more cringe, exponentially so. I mean, for Candace Owens, she's never really been somebody who believes what she says. Like, I actually do think that Candace Owens is a grifter, but you can tell um, she's getting more extreme in her rhetoric. Like, to say this... That a global pandemic is a cover for communist rule hitting the shores of the West is so incredibly fucking stupid. It's so stupid. But nonetheless, um, let's 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 watch and perhaps she'll she'll convince uh, convince me. <laughs> Fat chance, but maybe maybe it sounds better when we hear it all like in context. And this is because they don't want Americans to connect the dots because we're at the beginning of this horror show, right? At the beginning where they come and they say, it's going to be great. Everyone, we're going to band together. We're going to take from the rich people and you're going to have more. And they are in Cuba at the end of this nightmare and realizing that actually, no, it was just their government growing themselves, empowering themselves and removing power from the people. You see okay. I haven't pre-watched this. So she's talking about the suffering of Cuban people. How many of you want to take a guess and... um predict whether or not she's going to mention the U.S. embargo. Because if you're talking about the suffering of the Cuban people, that is a key component. These uh, sanctions that we have on Cuba, they are specifically designed to to hurt. And um, for her to not bring this up, uh, she's either dishonest or um, not informed. People are starving and they're in the streets. And I want to get to actually Twitter because this shocked me when I saw the banner. Everybody in the world knows this is about them protesting against communism. And look at... Oh, everybody in the world knows that they're pro protesting against communism. What a liar. So, okay. Um, to characterize it like this, um, I think it was... Maybe it was David Dole who made the same point. I guess that all the Black Lives Matter protesters in 2020 were protesting against capitalism, Right. I mean, there were uh, protests in every single major city, including a lot of rural areas, too. So I guess that a lot of Americans were protesting capitalism. I mean, I mean, what a disingenuous oversimplification of this uh, of this entire thing. Are there some people who are trying to egg on an intervention from the United States? Sure, there are bad actors there. There's going to be factions in every single country that are anti-government. Um, but ultimately, they're suffering in Cuba for a myriad uh, of reasons, right? There's uh, an increase in COVID-19 when Cuba has actually kept it under control. There's been an explosion in new cases. They're hurting economically right now because tourism has been cut off because of COVID-19. So for her to just say, oh, they suddenly hate communism. I mean, it's so incredibly disingenuous. Whoever takes these people seriously, I feel bad for them. At Twitter's headline. Is this Kaylee McEnany? Is that her? She's she really is making the rounds in right wing media. The protests take place across Cuba as country faces shortages of COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't scoff at that. That's that's correct. This is a protest. about COVID. You know what? I'm going to agree with them. This is a protest against COVID-19 because COVID-19 is nothing but a big cover for communist rule hitting the shores yeah. of the West. You Define communism, Candace. Does anybody think that she has the. Uh, capability of defining communism, socialism, even capitalism. Can she define any of the political terms that she uses frequently? Again, like communism has become a synonym for things that are bad. It's the gay of the 2020s. Like before, remember when, uh, you know, if you, if you didn't like something, you'd say that's gay. Well, now they're using that uh, but instead of gay, they've replaced that with with uh, communism. Oh, that's communist. That's socialist. It's incredibly just brain dead. 
You are masking our children. You are pretending it's because of COVID-19. Okay, so she just kind of tacitly admitted that she doesn't know what the fuck communism is. Masking your children is not communism, Candace. Like, let me, let me go back. Am I, am I being too uncharitable here? Masking, like, is she heavily implying here that masking children equals communism? COVID-19 is nothing but a big cover for communist rule hitting the shores yeah. of the West. You are masking our children. You are pretending it's because of COVID-19. You are... Yeah, you're masking our children, pretending it's uh, because of COVID-19. She's implying that the masking is communism. By the way, that's not Kaylee McEnany. <laughs> I was wrong about that. You are radically changing the way that we vote in this country. You're pretending it's because of COVID-19. All of this stuff is actually the Democratic Socialists, a.k.a. the Communists, coming together to bring communism to the American shore. Absolutely. So all of the smaller countries who suffered from COVID-19, um, all of the people who just died in India from COVID-19, all of that like was this ploy to bring communism to the United States of America? Is she honestly alleging this? I mean, holy shit. Yeah, that's a great point, Winston. She thinks Mitch McConnell is a communist because guess what? Mitch McConnell, as idiotic as he is, as ruthless as he is, he at least is an anti-vax. And side note, it's funny. He was a little bit uh, confused as to why so many Republicans are vaccine hesitant. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why. Maybe it's because your party is fucking insane and deluded. This rhetoric here is, this is ludicrous. Noted communist Nancy Pelosi is doing things. Exactly, James from the internet. By their standards, uh, the only people who are not communists in the United States of America is uh, is the far right. <laughs> because, I mean, if everyone is a communist who um, believes that COVID-19 isn't some plot to, you know, bring communism to the United States, I guess they're, they're, they're communists. So that includes conservatives. Mitt Romney is a communist. It's just, it's so, it's so moronic. Absolutely. And it's exactly what they did before they consolidated power and Fidel finally admitted yep. he was a communist. In fact, right. you look at their propaganda they put out back then, you could interchange that with the actual materials from Democratic candidates today. We're not communist. We're humanist. We're pro-justice for all. We want health care for all. We want education for all. They wanted indoctrination in schools for all. They wanted division of race for all. They wanted to go door to door. Uh, what a dumb, dumb motherfucker. They, they are incapable of arguing in good faith. They have to create a straw man so they can argue against that. It's just fucking insufferable. Yeah, they want uh, divide races for all. You know, the popular policy being pushed by leftists, um, race divisions, that's, does anyone remember like AOC pushing that or Cori Bush pushing that? 